The Humanities Networked Infrastructure Project, Honey, is a virtual laboratory funded by the Australian Federal Government's NECTA e-research funding agency. Humanities researchers will use the Honey Virtual Laboratory to link together all kinds of cultural data, including from libraries, archives and museums, into a web of linked open data. Researchers will make connections, trace cultural flows and create new meaning from across the cultural landscape. So Lodland's really the heart of the Honey Project. It's the platform on which the virtual laboratory is being built. And so for us, our first steps have been to build some tools and assemble tools that we can use to curate data from libraries, archives and museums into the linked open data space. In recent years, the linked open data cloud has been growing very rapidly and many cultural institutions have been taking their first steps into that space. However, the process isn't easy and many cultural institutions have been and still unable to take that first step. There's still a big gap between the capability of existing systems and the requirements of linked data. We're building software that can bridge that gap, software that can talk to the legacy systems and translate what they say into linked data. This software can connect to existing interfaces such as the library search protocol Z3950 or the popular Open Archives Initiative protocol for metadata harvesting. To minimise setup and administration costs, the software can be packaged as a virtual machine and deployed in a cloud. What we're building is effectively a gateway which you simply configure to harvest data from your system, convert it into RDF and publish as linked data. When the software is complete, you'll be able to do this configuration in your web browser. The configuration will consist of pointing the system at your OAI PMH server and specifying an XSLT to actually perform the conversion into RDF. But already we've used the system to harvest tens of thousands of records from a variety of sources, convert them into RDF and publish them as linked data. You can see the software in action at corbicula.honey.net.au. We've called the software Corbicula, which is Latin for little basket. A Corbicula is also the pollen pouch on the hind leg of a honeybee, where the bee stores the pollen that is foraged. We still have work to do on Corbicula, particularly packaging it as a virtual appliance so that anyone can launch their own Corbicula in the cloud, harvest their data and publish it into the web of data. For more information about Corbicula and the Honey Project, visit our website honey.net.au